step two of our wine making process. Uh, we've, our fermentation is done. I've checked our gravity for three days in a row with no change. Uh, we've got our uh, container of sanitizer here. This is our star sand. And we're going to drain that down into a into a, a glass carboy. Got that all cleaned, ready to go. We gotta get it sanitized. Here we go. Now that we've got every, our uh, carboy sanitized and ready to uh, take our, our wine in, let's open up our fermentation bucket and show you what's inside. There's our wine. Gravity three days in a row, but let me show you that. Got our hydrometer here. Uh, here's our hydrometer. We're going to put that in. We want it at 1.10 or lower. See our top measurement is pointing point nine nine focus. Come on. It's point nine nine. There's one that's the equivalent to uh, purified water, and then one point one one point oh one zero. That's what we want it from here or up. So we're gonna put it in. Looks like we're below one, so our alcohol content is high enough that it is thinner than water. Water uh, alcohol is actually thinner than water, so we're good to go there. Put our hydrometer down into our sanitizing solution. Zoom out. Now, in this step, majority of the yeast has fallen down to the bottom of that fermentation bucket. Okay, we're going to get our auto siphon out. We're going to place it on our bucket and we are going to gently put it down about three quarters of the way. Now we want siphon our wine out but we want to leave that yeast cake down in the bottom of our wine wine bucket as you can see we're siphoning down into the carboy which we sanitized we'll do this it takes several minutes so I'll come back when we're getting lower into our bucket Siphon. 
so we don't get into that. There's anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of sludge. It's basically the yeast that's fallen down to the bottom. And the solids, that bentonite, things like that, that we put in there in the first video. That's what we want to stay out of. The more of that we keep out of uh, this carboy, the easier it is going, going to be, easier it is to clarify our wine. So that's the main purpose of what we're doing here. Just got to keep an eye on things. Go slow and easy and be patient. Brewing is not something that's for the impatient person. So if you're an impatient person, don't want to wait the uh, four to six week process that it takes to uh, make your own wine or make your own beer, then there's a lot of good microbreweries uh, on the market, but it's not yours. When you do this, that's the good thing, even with kits, you can modify them. You can do things to make them your own. One of the things that uh, a lot of people will do with uh, these wine expert kits, instead of making six gallons of wine, they'll make five gallons of wine, especially the red wine folks. They want, when you want that stronger table wine, then that's an easy direction to go. And white wines, I don't think it makes a big difference. We're not a big red wine drinking family. Um, there's a few that I like, uh, but all in all, not that big a red wine deal. No, I've done red wine, I've done it for family, I've done it for friends, you know, and that's one of the nice things that uh, you're everybody's buddy when you got, when you got free, free liquor around. The, um, I've done batches of wine, giving it away as gifts, makes great Christmas, Christmas presents. that sugar and converts sugar into CO2 and alcohol it generates different flavors as well with those flavors 
you know, you can, if you go early on in beer, those flavors people can say, you know, are kind of a cabbage type flavor. Um, putting our airlock in. The, uh, it, it, they're called off flavors. And, you know, even though it's hooch at this point instead of good wine, get this out of the way. It's just not gonna taste good. What we have here, this is a thermometer strip uh, that's on the side of the, uh, the carboy. It tells us the uh, temperature of our wine. Looks like we're dropping down into the 72 degree range. That's what I keep the house, uh, when I do have fermentation going on, I keep it at 72, a little bit, uh, a little bit cooler than normal. But if you start getting above 75, 76, the yeast can develop more off flavors and give you kind of a funky taste in wine. But there's still uh, a little bit of fermentation going on. That yeast, it will now start consuming those byproducts that it produced before um, that give those off flavors. And this stage is nothing exciting about it. We're looking at uh, another two weeks, 10 days uh, to let the wine do its secondary fermentation, get rid of those off flavors. We're not really clarifying at this point. You can see how cloudy it is. You can't see your hand through the bottle. It looks about like unfiltered cider or unfiltered apple juice at this point. And that's what we're going for. All right, so nothing really exciting today other than transferring wine. It's called racking over uh, into another, this is a carboy and we're doing our secondary fermentation. We'll see you in a couple weeks.